EA Technology have delivered three complementary projects for the Cheshire and Warrington Local Enterprise Partnership under the banner of Net Zero Cheshire. This website is hosted by EA Technology to share information on these projects and here you can see the main landing page with these links taking you through to the three separate project sections. The building decarbonisation page contains information on our progress towards decarbonising our corporate headquarters and as a live website will be periodically updated as we complete the various phases of the building upgrade. It also contains all of our learning and advice on how to replicate this approach for your own business. The Invest Net Zero Cheshire link provides some information on the project but mostly serves as the redirection page to the dedicated project website as this is hosted directly by Cheshire and Warrington Lab. And finally, the Delivering Network Visibility page, where the data being made available from the over 670 Viznet units deployed across Cheshire's Energy Innovation District is being made available. Within the Network Visibility section, there are several sub-pages available to support the user. We have the What Data is Available, which includes some examples of where this data may be of benefit, and the Distribution Network page that provides information on how to interpret this data at a basic level, as well as providing some information on the network arrangements in the area. Moving into the Network Visibility page, it should firstly be noted that it is necessary to register on the website before any network data will be made available. A link is on this page here, or at the top of the web page here, and it is free to register. Further down, you will see a map of the monitored area with a range of pins depicting the monitored substations where data is available, although I'll also note that due to GDPR requirements, where a substation has a low number of customers connected, we have restricted the data available from that substation. For example, due to low customer connections, this substation at Delamere is greyed out and it is not possible to select it. The data from this substation will be available on demand, but only as part of an aggregated data set and will not be shared through the website. So, to demonstrate the map tool functionality, I will focus the map onto Mickle Trafford, just outside Chester, and select the School Lane substation. The box that appears has two options, View Usage and Add to List. Before selecting either, however, we can also see that over the latest full 24-hour period, this substation has provided 1,751 kilowatt hours of energy to its connected customers. Selecting the View Usage option will then give us more information. At the moment, the graph by default is showing average current and voltage for each phase for each half hourly period of the last full day. So, at the time this video is recorded on Wednesday, June 30th, you can see that data reflects Tuesday, June 29th. It is possible to disable or reactivate individual traces at the top of this graph. Disabling the voltage values clears up the graph displayed, and we can now see a typical domestic network load profile across all three phases. We will be updating this functionality in the future to provide information on the energy utilised by the substation over the same period and how this relates to the capacity of the assets, so please keep checking back. The website also has the functionality to combine the data from multiple substations, allowing us to see the loading requirements in a wider area. Closing this graph for the moment and then zooming out again, I will now select all the substations in the Mickle Trafford area, but this time I will select Add to List. You will see as I do this that a sidebar menu appears on the right hand side of the screen with a tally of the number of substations that we have selected and also that once selected the option changes to allow the location to be removed from this list instead. Once I've finished the selection I can expand the sidebar and if I've selected any inadvertently I can remove them here. I'm happy with these as I want to show you the data for the whole of Mickle Trafford so I'll instead select view combined usage at the bottom. This can take a few seconds to pull the data in from the servers, depending on the number of substations selected, but the graph is recognisable as a typical domestic load profile, not a surprise given the area. As before, the plots show the average half hourly value of the current and voltage, but this time from across all the selected substations, with the total energy value now at the top, only this now reflects the sum of all selected substations rather than an individual one. Zooming out again, we can see the full range of locations being monitored across the region. This website will be live for at least a three year period as part of the project and may stay online after that if there proves sufficient appetite from communities and businesses in the region for the data that it makes available.